All right, welcome to Dummy Nation. So today I'm gonna try and show you the main tactic used to try and prevent guerrilla warfare nonsense. And we get Bangladesh, wonderful. We gotta, we gotta get land somewhere else. So let's go to Mauritius. So my intended video is now scrapped. And <laughs> now it's gonna be a bit random country roulette run instead, guys. Um, yeah, so today we're doing random country roulette. It is Bangladesh. It's because we did not get uh, either China or America, so... Yeah. Since we're intending to rush military research, we're gonna use the 15-10-0-15 preset. And then let's go. Alright, Mauritius is gone. Okay. Looks like China is participating in the rush, or yeah, China's gonna do the rush. On Russia should be rushing in Japan, and USA should really be rushing Mexico. This is a two-team battle, so we I should expect to see that. India, I guess their main rush should be me. In the all intents and purposes, that should be their main rush. Let's see if I can afford my troops as it stands. Yes, I can afford my troops. Can't afford my troops. Um, let's do. Let's flip to fascism just so that I can initially recruit these, and then we can flip back to theocracy. So fascism is useful for that little for that initial manual recruitment. All right, and since we're rushing military research, we do need. We are gonna lack some military power here, so like we really need to hopefully hold out against India. So plan is to unlock guerrilla warfare as fast as possible. The, fa the fastest way to do it is probably conscription, because even though we're gonna be producing enough troops, we're going to run into bottlenecks because we've got we're only at we're at Niger we're under Nigeria levels of population. We're basically going to have issues with po population, so. The fastest way to un get to guerrilla warfare is simply reactive armor plus conscription. That is the plan. Especially because we're gonna lack some defense, so. And because we're heavy on attack, we're gonna go, we're gonna destroy our helicopters. Just for a little extra money. The extra money is for peace deals and building troops later. All right, so we can get our reactive armor now. Alright, getting, getting the reactive armor. Um, uh, yeah. We also have our little island down here just in case. But it seems like this India wants to turtle. They're not really focused on expanding, so. If that's the case, then maybe we don't have to stay on Bangladesh. At least on the cap. Now, as for reservists, reservists are a questionable choice. You're gonna be bleeding them on both offensive invasions and defensive invasions. So if I do get the chance to show you the counter strat to the guerrilla warfare stuff, I need to have like overwhelming force versus a giant country like Canada. And I don't have that just yet. Mexico held off very well. All they have to do is put their stack on like Japan or whatever. All right. Once the hell, okay, the helis are destroyed. Let's look. Okay, we can't afford that. So um, yeah. Honestly, I think we rush. Uh, I think we try and get parts of Japan. Japan has some reservists here. No. Let's go, they're rushing Japan. Let's get some. Let's at least, let's at least help with the islands. Let's be a team player and help with the islands. That's what, that's the goal. Uh, if you're giving that to me, I'll, I'll take it. Oh.
Oh, you want me to take it? Okay. I totally misinterpreted it. So he wants to give it to me, so I'll take it and then I'll help with the islands of Japan. So getting this allows me to flip to communism because I have a different island now. Now we're gonna help with the Japanese islands here. Oh, Mexico's gone. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Go get all get across. Just combine this and then get across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're totally right. All right. So we got Taiwan. How did that affect our thing? We're able. We're still able to recruit our preset, which is great. So since we're taking out Mexico, but in like Japan, um, what we need to do is free, uh, well, obviously we need to free uh, Mexico immediately so that they can do guerrilla warfare stuff. We flip to uh, this because we no longer care about losing Bangladesh. We Our stack's not gonna be there. We're gonna lose some reserves up doing this battle here. So what I've noticed is that it doesn't matter how many reserves you have, all right, so here's the goal. We need to, one, free Mexico. Two, we need to completely eliminate, uh, yeah. We need to completely eliminate Japan here, right? So until Mexico produces troops, uh, did you produce troops? Are you still here? Uh, no, you left. And then get ready to press the home button if you see anything thing, anything like change. Like, you haven't caused Japan to crack, so that's bad news. It's also bad news that Mexico left. It's unfortunate that he left. Ooh, India. Uh, I don't care about India coming out this way. Uh, wait, did India crack? India did crack, so we can just peace out. Perfect. <laughs> and as you can tell, what Mexico is now able to do is put their military on spots that are theirs. Still need to finish off J Japan here, if possible. Yeah, what are they saying? Uh, here comes Italy. I heard I come. All right. We can see that to Mexico. That removes the Japanese claim over there. That completely removes the Japanese claim. Italy got here too late. And now Japan's only claim is over here. Huge, huge, huge. Plus. Yeah. Italy can have this. Yes, Italy can totally have this. What this removes is the Japanese claim right there. So, yeah. That is huge. That's why you liberate it even. Two, it saves my reserves. So that is huge. We're in a great spot just because we got all the AI on our side. It's just unfortunate that I didn't get either China or USA. But I really wanted to show the counter to the counter strats to the rush. To the when you're invading the counter strat to guerrilla warfare. I really wanted to show that. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can 
Kenya wants land, Nigeria wants land. Nigeria is not really building troops that well. That is interesting. All right, all my troops are getting home right now. The plan is very simple. We invade uh, probably Colombia into Laos. Colombia, Cambodia. Oh my God, why do I say it's Colombia? Blooper moments, I love them. East Timor gives me a direct border with Indonesia, so we're gonna take it. This will help exchange rate because we then we would have the direct border on Indonesia. And it would be a, like a penalty, penalty less land border. So yeah, I gave this back because um, there'll be, ooh, Argentina is super weak right now. If we get the chance to do it, we'll do it again. We'll hit them. Looking at these troops, I'm debating between tanks. Yeah, we can't afford enough tanks, but we can afford a thousand, so we'll add a thousand. All right, that should improve my exchange rate just a little bit. Get rat, grabbing East Timor and getting that border with Indonesia. It did not, unfortunate. Womp womp, guys. Maybe I had one over here or something. But look at Mexico with their small troop right there. The only problem is it when, if Mexico does it, they get, ooh. Great move, Brazil. Great counter, because all you saw that the entire American stacks down there. So like, right now China could carve it up. At this point, I want, I'm gonna go after um, Argentina. Remember, we can get some cheap-ass peace treaties right now, like France. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. You go right on their cap. Because if you wipe them out here, Mexico will go ham into this. So you wipe them out right now. You go right to the cap. This is all about AI stuff. All right, so we took conscription to increase the amount of manpower that we can recruit, which is great. All right. So here's the plan. We are going to rush this. They can have a bonus, whatever. We're gonna rush it hard. Plan is to rush the, them right there. With the 55 mil stack, we have an 18, 15 mil stack. Because there are two things that will happen here. One, Argentina's gonna run out of troops. Guess what Mexico's gonna do? They're gonna put their two mil stack right here. So this is why we're doing the rush here. We're gonna sacrifice probably 30 mil to 40 million troops here. But I think that's a price well paid. Pew pew. So we spent the troops because one, immediately, Mexico should be immediately attack, right? All right, and now I get to show you the counter, the counter, the counter militia strat. So all of those go here, the rest of you spread. So any militias that form now, it's gonna be like a who cares moment. Now, obviously the stack's not large enough to compensate and Mexico's not doing what I expected them to. So like, yeah, so what, what Argentina's gonna try and do is put some armies down. The US is weak, they are not weak at all. So anyway, there you go. There's the militia counter strat. You have to put a protect, protect stack down. There's no Sansa bots. Brazil is going to be eliminated here, unfortunately. Then what will the result be? USA left. Surprising. All right, let's let's do this again. Send everything here, and then put three thirty percent as a defense stack. 
The, def the protect stack is to protect against militia warfare, basically. All right, and now let's peace out with the United Kingdom. Let's peace out with India, just to make sure they don't come over. So these should come down immediately. Yeah, these should come down here, not there. But yeah. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. So that, so the counter to this is, um, yep, I don't want to burn my reserves here, so Argentina can have that back. Fuck. We knocked their troops, everything's good. Now I've got their, now I know that I'm the one that's going to get blasted here. So what I'm going to do is immediately swap to Theocracy. Fortunately, Mexico is building troops and they're using their stack wisely. Are they at war still with Argentina? Or has Argentina paid them off? I think Argentina paid them off. That's why they're not, like, attacking it. I'm looking. Ar Ar Argentina paid them off. Wait, now I click clicked on Italy. Durr. Argentina did pay them off. Okay, fine. We'll take a piece of your now. So, when I saw the U.S. attacking this, that's when the protect stack thing, the counter to the militia warfare thing, becomes a huge concern. Like, it becomes a, a giant concern. Alright, so the French. Alright. So, what we have to do here is eventually we're going to get into, um... Alright. So they seem to be going back to other stuff. They seem to be going back to Mexico. Let's go back to communism. Because we're not going to have to worry about the immediate invasion. Alright. Since we know that we want defense, we're going to do a guerrilla warfare. We 100% want the defense. So France, 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 France. French remnant words. Where are the remains of France? Thank you. Honestly, we're fine. USA is pushing economy a lot better. Oh boy. Where is China? Germany. You know, put a defense stack here and let's get some international standing so that our allies would help us if we get invaded. Let's we'll switch to Theocracy too while we do this. Give me some international standing here. Alright. Guess we're declaring war. Everything's going home. All right, we re I, we really need to take out India here. I think we have a lot of troops separated, though. We, we're our advantage is our AI. Our disadvantage is um. Uh, the other team is all players, and all of them can and will probably eco or push economy better than I will. All right. So what the goal here is to unlock nukes as soon as possible. So the plan is rush guerrilla warfare. Because that'll help us on defense. And getting the defense helps the most. Uh, looks like they're going after Russia. You know what? Fuck this shit. Let's do counterplay. Alright, counterplay means we're going to go back to planned economy. We're going to attack uh, Australia. In Australia... Hopefully the U.S. doesn't have troops over here. Like, they're not talking at all, so. So let's get as many troops as possible here. 
All right, and what are we short on? We're short on tanks. We can build another thousand tanks, so let's just do that. It's not efficient, but it's effective enough. Take a stray? Let's take a stray. Yeah, I'm trying to read... Read what you guys want. Yeah... Okay, so now we have to go back to Theocracy. But also, here's where, here's where counterplay is important. Oh, what the fuck, Italy? Actually, change my cap for me, thank you. a tough loss. We probably did not- we probably gave them the bonuses. Uh, unfortunate. We gave them all the bonuses. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. That was unfortunate. Alright, we need to free up North Korea. Got all the bonuses. That's an un that's so fucking unfortunate. It should have been us getting all the damn bonuses. Here comes America. Yeah, this China's not building enough troops. Surprising. Yeah, the 17.61's nice, but it's like, oh shit. Now where's my new cap? Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do anything against a 45 stack. GG's. Well, we'll, we'll watch it out, but here's the thing. This, uh, yeah, womp womp, womp womp for me. Now we have to hope that we get some help. Uh, we're still around somewhere. This militia's still here. That militia's still here. Let's see if it, let's see if something happens that frees me. That militia's right there, but it's not freeing it. Ooh, it is. Slowly. What? Nine? Oh, boy. You burned your troops. Oh, boy. Like, this is slowly coming back. So, the fact that this popped up last minute and wasn't dealt with, and he didn't put a protect stack down. Interesting. I'm going to be alive in this game. I'm gonna come back alive very shortly. There it goes. I've come back alive, and my troops are here, and we can just start spreading out.
And I am morale bonus, so that means malicious spawn. And I have guerrilla warfare up. Thank you, militia. For once, a glitch pays off. So when will they be, when will they be back? Because I am still alive here. I'm still in this. And Japan is gone. So they are freeing up people. Interesting. So he brought back Australia. Interesting. And the best part is we're able to produce our troops still at a decent clip. The only problem is our initial liquidity went away, but who cares. Let's see what USA does. Let's see if USA makes some mistakes here. Alright, um... Do you need to be pushing up guerrilla warfare, because we do have a troop deficit. And since we have a troop deficit, um, uh, uh, USA's entire stack's right there, so, um, uh, yeah. I think the goal has to be bring back Brazil. See if we can do that. But do you have reserves? You do not have reserves. My army's gonna be faster than them, so, um, yeah. So the goal should be bring back Brazil. No, 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 that's a dumb move. Don't do that, guys. Please just save your stacks. Brazil, build troops, fight them back. Uh, you need to free up Mexico. This is how this is how you win this game. Oh, you've only got a 90 mil stack, but here's the problem: the largest is up, no one has to stack to counter. Hmm. Mexico, go nuts. I'm gonna say, go nuts. I don't want to sacrifice reserves here. We have to bring back as many allies as we can to fight this war. Uh, Ethiopia, is there any chance we can get online? So if you have 868, can I save that money? This, we may just win off the sheer fact that AI is better than AI just is better than many players in this game. Now there's Brazil's. Here we go again and again and again. Brazil, we just need them to build enough troops to start taking shit back. Yep, here they come. Mexico's coming with their troops. USA's got 75 and only 75. Keep going. Twenty. Oh. Okay. Well, I can now put my armies right over here and take 
and basically take LA. Because he let that one militia survive, I was down to one 180k militia, he, and, which is a glitch, by the way. My, that militia should have gone away. But he let it survive, which means, um... Now I guess he's in trouble. Yeah, he let it survive. He let it faster. He let me survive, and now I've got now I'm now I'm now I've got a beachhead. And it's to the point where I'm gonna flip, flip the planet on it. Flip the disc. All right, and now we need to get our combat training going. Oh shit! I've surrendered that to Mexico. That's dumb. Mexican. We do it from here. There we go. Yeah. Are you guys manually producing troops? Because if you're man, you're, you're auto. We did our job over here. We've got Mexico freed up. Now let's do the same with Brazil. Always free it up, because they've got 22 mil now. You're gonna have to use AI to your, uh, AI use your friend. Brazil is your friend. Make sure to free Brazil. So is Mexico. That's all your friend. And now U.S. is on my ass. And we should probably fl flip to Holy War. And at 123,000 tanks... 1,230 tanks are coming out for me to use. Brazil is up to 27. Let's see if they send it... They're choosing not to send it. This is great. Brazil's choosing not to send it. Uh, look at how Mexico freed everything up. Um, let's do this because now it opens up nukes. Oh, Italy left. Look at how weak USA is. They sent it on me. They did full send me. They're about to eliminate me. Yep, here they come again. GG's. I've already freed up most of them, though. My cap's right here. Where are my troops? Yeah, my troops should be spawning somewhere. Yep, here, they, here comes Russia. That's a 24, so yeah, I'm dead again. All right, I did my job. I made USA so weak that China can take advantage of it. And there they go. There they fucking go. There they go. Now USA is gonna come after me, right?
Okay, so I'm obviously not gonna be number one. I got hard targeted, but... Can I say unsung hero? Cause the USA to crack? Can I say unsung hero much? <laughs> for this Chinese, for the Ch for the red team, can I say unsung hero? Because that's what I want. That's what I think. I'm the unsung hero on this team. I totally think. Yeah, look at how look at how USA left, and look at how Brazil's now taking everything. Mexico's been passive, so they don't matter. But this game's oh, this game. <laughs> yep. From this game got saved because of one militia. USA left one militia, just one mistake, one militia, and guess who was able to take advantage? China. We caused, it caused USA to crack, and now we're all playing AI except Argentina. That's a, that is, I'm not, I'm, this is gonna be posted anyway. Because even though I didn't do much this game, I did my job. I did my main job, which was to make sure we win. And that is what we li they literally did. We made sure we win. I made sure they I my team won. And that is GG's. So much GG. And that is GG's. GG everyone. That was a fun now I don't know. Cause you know when you're defeated, like when I was completely defeated, a militia shouldn't have spawned. But one militia the god, I'm gonna watch the re I'm gonna I'm gonna I wanna take a thumbnail on that. One militia gave us the win. One single militia. militia. Like, GG's everyone. One militia to a win. Like, my god. That's, that's a good game. GG's. Sure, we only got 2.4 multiplayer points. That's because we got outbid for China and USA. But my god. From one militia to turning the, the game around by making USA tilt and then leave. That's the game. So like, share, subscribe if you like the content. Ring the bell to no for notifications. Um... Become a member to see this video a couple, uh, probably 12 hours in advance. To the, um, and um, leave a leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.